Hello everyone, my name is Natalie Madrigal and my video is going to be about child development. The three concepts I'll be covering throughout this video will be Erickson's theory, Vygotsky's theory of scaffolding, and Piaget's cognitive development theory, which will be covered with personal interaction interviews. Child development refers to the biological, psychological, and emotional changes that occur between birth through the end of adolescence and until adulthood as we progress from dependency to increasing autonomy. There are lots of things that influence how our mind and its relationship with the world grows over time. Both our genetics and our environment begin to affect our development long before we are even born, and they continue to influence our learning until the day we die. Even though we are born with nearly the same number of brain cells we will ever have, our complete set of brain hardware takes years to solidify as our neutral, networks grow more complex. The study of our physical, cognitive, social, and emotional changes throughout our entire lives from prenatal to preteen to post-retirement is called developmental psychology. It is how we grow into who we are. It begins with the growth of knowledge itself, the process by which you mature into the person you are today. The first concept I'll be going over is Erickson's theory, the stages in psychosocial development. The first stage is trust versus mistrust, which is between the ages of 0 to 18 months, which is considered to be infancy. This is where a child develops a belief that the environment can be counted on to meet his or her basic needs. It's a drive and hope resolution. Their belief is, I am what I am given. The second stage is autonomy versus shame and doubt, which is between the ages of 18 months to three years old, which is considered to be toddlerhood. This is where a child learns what he or she can control and develops a sense of free will and limits. It's a self-control and willpower resolution. Their belief is I am what I can do. The third stage is initiative versus guilt, which is between the ages of three to seven years old, which is considered to be early childhood. This is where a child initiates action, explores, and imagines, as well as feeling remorse for actions. It's a direction and purpose resolution. Their belief is, I am what I imagine. The fourth stage is industry versus inferiority, which is between the ages of 7 to 12 years old, which is considered to be puberty. This is where a child learns to do things well or correctly in comparison to a standard or to others. It's a method and competence resolution. Their belief is, I am what I can achieve. The fifth stage is identity versus real confusion, which is between the ages of 12 to 20 years old, which is considered to be adolescence. This is where they develop a sense of self in relationship to others and to own internal thoughts and desires. It's a devotion and fidelity resolution. Their belief is, who am I? The sixth stage is intimacy versus isolation, which is between the ages of 20 to 24 years old, which is considered to be young adulthood. This is where they develop ability to give and receive love and commitment. It's a affiliation and love resolution. Their belief is, I am who I love. The seventh stage is generativity versus stagnation, which is between the ages of 25 to 65 years old which is considered to be adulthood. This is where the development of having a caring attitude, being productive and happy, is a production and case resolution. Their belief is I am the impact that I make. The last stage is ego integrity versus despair, which is between the ages of 65 years old till death. This is considered to be the elderly adulthood. This is the acceptance of the life one has lived with no major regrets for what could or should have been. It's a wisdom and renunciation resolution. Their belief is, I am what I have been. The next concept I'll be covering is Vygotsky's developmental theory, which emphasizes how early development occurs through prenatal instruction and interaction with social environments. He believed less in such stages and more in the idea that caregivers, such as teachers, parents, and adults provide a sort of scaffolding that helps children climb to higher levels of thinking and learning. Vygotsky put a lot of emphasis on language as a way of assigning meaning to things, and he also suggested that the way children develop might actually vary across cultures, 
As the brain and mind develop in children, so do their social, emotional, and moral behavior. How a child is raised and cared for can have a profound impact on their personality later on in life. The last concept I'll be Who's covering that? is Piaget's Cognitive Developmental Who's Theory, that, which theorizes that humans go through specific stages of Who's cognitive that? development and mental progression. Who's Piaget that? proposed that as we grow and struggle to make sense of our experiences, we create schemas or mental frameworks to help interpret information. We are constantly striving for cognitive equilibrium or harmony between our thought progresses and our environments, which are always giving us new things to think about and adjust to. He went on to diverse a four-stage theory of cognitive development to describe how we learn in different phases of our lives. Stage one, the sensory motor stage, which begins at birth and continues on to age two. This is the time where babies experience the world through their senses and actions, touching and grabbing, looking and hearing, and throwing things. They lack object permanence, the awareness that things still exist when they are out of sight. And yet babies develop so quickly that in no time they already understand better that things, objects, and people don't disappear just because they are hidden. Object permanence, in Piaget's view, was one of the major achievements of the sensory motor stage. The next stage is the concrete operational stage, which is between the ages of 7 to 11 years old. Children have the ability to focus on many parts of a problem. They are able to concentrate on many aspects of a situation at the same time, which plays a critical role in the understanding of conservation. They have the growing ability to mentally manipulate information and think about the thoughts of others. One of the most important developments in this stage is an understanding of reversibility or awareness that actions can be reversed. Okay, so for my next question, do you think the they have the exact same amount of juice in them again? Yes. And why do you think so? Because it was the same amount before, it just poured into a different cup. Good job, thank you. Okay, so for our next experiment, can you go ahead and sing um, the paper to the camera, please? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Thank you. Can you do it backwards? Z, Y, X, W, V, U, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, N, F, K, J, I, H, D, F, E, B, C, D, A. Thank you. Um, let's try it without it. Can you go ahead and do um, the regular alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, L, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Good job. Can you try doing it backwards? Z, Y, X, W, V, T, S, R, Q, P, O, N, M, L, K, J, I, H, D, F, E, D, C, V, A. Thank you. Good job. And that's all we have today. Thank you. The second phase of development is a pre-operational stage, which Piaget believed it began from two to seven years old. This stage is defined by egocentrism, which drives most of what a child thinks and says. This stage is marked by a child's ability to mentally represent objects and events with words and images and pretend plays in their imagination. They're big in animism and believe their favorite stuffed animal or imaginary friend has thoughts and feelings. Children start forming their theory of mind or ability to understand other people's feelings, thoughts, and perceptions as well as their own and also how to predict behavior. The fourth stage is formal operational which starts at about the age of 12 and carries on through the rest of our lives. By now our reasoning is expanding, we start to develop the ability to abstract concepts, including skills such as logical thought, problem solving, and systematic planning also emerge during this stage. They also develop what is known as metacognition or the ability to think about their thoughts as well as the ideas of others. Piaget's greatest achievement was developing theoretical depth in the concept that children actually think very differently than adults. This fact has helped a lot of parents and teachers and his work spurred a new era 
of research in the field. While PSJ wasn't the only developmentalist or even the first, he's definitely one of the most influential and remains relevant to this day. All right, thank you guys for watching my video. Good luck to the rest of you guys.